Away we go. Or we're, I'm like, I'm right in the middle. It's the bat show. Yeah. It's my favorite show. <laughs> it's <always the> <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Matt, and I'm at Texas Toast Guitars today. And it's Sunday, and it's 5 o'clock, and it's time to have a beer with Matt and Chris and Mrs. Toast. And we're going to talk about so many good things today. I have some things here. You can't see them. Maybe if I pull them back, you'll be able to see them. Because I want you to see what I'm refocus, talking about. Too. No, that's okay. Okay. I, I think I have to come back more. How? Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm good, Matt. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> Long time no see. Can you guys see these things? Okay, yeah. Now they're in the, they're in the picture. So. Sort of. They're well, they're little, so you have to yeah. <laughs> so today is Sunday, and Chris and I have been in the shop. Today, we have had uh, the film crew was here this morning. That was very cool. Um, and we want to talk about the Great Guitar Build-Off. Um, there's been some videos. Everybody's favorite subject. It's one of my favorite subjects. And I don't know what we're going to talk about when it's done, but yeah. Um, but you know how it is with me. You know what the <laughs> Season one reruns. Yeah. yeah, we will never do a cheesy clip show. That much I can tell you. So anyway, let me turn my phone down there. Okay, so everybody, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm gonna do something just in case. You're already gonna do. Mrs. Toast, how are you today? I'm okay. Are you doing good? Sure. Are you rocking and or rolling? Not really. No, well, okay. My back have, hurts, I'm getting old. I'm sorry, you have a lot of fans that, are, that, are, that are here just cause of you. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what you said. No, you didn't say that, but yeah. It'd be funnier. I think you're confusing me with you. Oh, yeah, yeah that's that. right. That's right. So, uh, did you do what you needed to do? Yeah, I wanted to make sure that I had my uh, little battery pack plugged oh, in. Oh, good idea. So, uh, so what is the topic for today, Chris? Um, it's it's great guitar build-off um, overview. Okay. And why do guys think cheap guitars are... Cool. Yeah, you know what else we should talk Discuss. about is why do why do guys like to tell me I'm wearing the wrong shorts? Mm -hmm. And why do guys want to tell me I'm drinking the wrong beer? Because they're fascists. There are a lot of people who give me a lot of beer hate, but yeah. I feel like the brown shirts. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna yeah. talk about all that stuff um, and more and more on today's show. <laughs> so um, I would like to pose a question for everyone who's watching. Um, we are trying to figure out what finish we should do on our great guitar build-off guitar. And it sure seems rude to not do a fabric top. So what fabric do you guys think we should use on our great guitar build-off guitar? Do you think that's fair, Chris? I think it's yeah, a good thing to add. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's come to that point. Yep, it's, we're getting down to where we need to start thinking about it. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. And in the meantime, I want to talk to you guys about something that I worked on today. Uh, I had a customer. Yeah. Really, we're not trying that hard. No, we're just phoning it in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so a customer came in today and said that he wanted uh, a two nomadic style bridge, but he wanted it. What do they call it? A Compton bridge? I, yeah, I think that's one of the. Yeah, I think so. But he wanted it out of rosewood with a with a fret. So I came up with this bridge. And it goes on the Goto uh, Two Nomadic posts, and it's got a it's got a 10 inch radius instead of a 12, um, and I think it's really really neat. It took me a few it took me a few tries to get it. Here's try number one. Try number two came pretty close, but not big enough. Try number three. Uh, I forget what happened on that one, but this guy here, I so I did it. I pulled it off. These are all. I knew you could too. You did. Didn't I tell you. You actually did. Yeah, I and said, I like that. People do these. And you're a people. You're a people. Yeah. So check it out. Um, I think it's cool. I don't know what he wants to do with this, but he wanted to know if we could go from this. I don't know if that's getting in the camera. To this, and yeah. So. What do, what do people normally do with Compton style bridges? Do you think, Chris? Uh, I don't know. So I think the the ones that I'm familiar with are made out of aluminum, and they're they're compensated mm. a little bit. Um, 
but they're kind of a Gretchy kind of a thing. You just slap it on your grass. It's just got to be some sort of, of slide deal. Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> right on. Yeah, so, anyway. Far out. Matt makes things out of wood. I make stuff out of wood. You should have you done a video on it. Well, I didn't know if it was going to work. So, <laughs> yeah. Now that I know, uh, now that I kind of got my technique down, maybe I could show you guys how I did it in video. I think somebody commented the other day um, something about watching that was scary, but because you posted the video, mm. I figured it probably turned out okay. Yeah. And I've thought about that before on watching videos. I'm like, this is going to end poorly yeah. for this guy. But he posted it, so he's probably still got all his fingers. What's worse is when people do dumb stuff, and then they post it. I'm like, gosh, you didn't have to post this. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. or getting hurt. I mean, yeah. the, the getting hurt videos is always their buddy filming them. <laughs> sure, sure. You know, and then it's they, never, yeah. yeah, oh, I set up the, the motorcycle, jump in front of my house and film <laughs> Get myself. kicked in the nuts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always, yeah. yeah. always Hey, mama, come out and watch watch your son hit this ball hey, off a tee. I think we should come down a little bit. <laughs> okay. Is that okay? Do you think uh -huh. we can we can do that? There we, yeah. there we go. That's that's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Let's that's leave, okay. Like, that's it's too not much. too much. Too much? Okay, there we go. How about that? Yeah, all right. Okay, you I okay like with it. that? I like if it I stand too. up all the way now, then look. Well, Wait till slouch you're not going to do second. that. Yeah. <laughs> slouch Come on, dude. <laughs> Joseph we know Caswell, you. fabric top, Brian Nutter shirt. Hey, that's a great idea. Thanks, Joe. There's also, we have had several, um, you know, you asked a question. Oh, we've got another one. Let's, let's hear oh, it. Oh, beer money for Geppetto? Geppetto. Geppetto. That's Is that you. a beer? No, it's, no, it's that's you, the, the, the guy that made Oh, because I bought, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, I didn't next, get it either. Next I'm a little you're going to make a real boy. No, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> so. so you asked the question about what kind of fabric should it be? Yeah. First first response. Leopard. Well, for, first of all, there was already a couple of shout outs for love for Chris's shirt. For the oh, beloved, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the beloved we were evil, evil can evil pin We still can, yeah. yeah. I got this from uh, Teespring. That's a great looking shirt. It is. Yeah. So you can go to any of our videos and, and in the description thing it, it'll take There's you to one right below this. Yeah, it'll yeah. take you to our Teespring page and you could get a you could get a beloved pin route of that. So who made that design? That's an SS this design. This is an SS design. That's a good yeah, one. and I thought it was awesome because you like evil. obviously yeah. it's yeah. evil can awesome. evil number one. Yeah. Harley Davidson we, number one. I have a shirt on the way, oh, um great. and I, I haven't just haven't gotten it yet. And I know a lot of you guys have, so that's very cool. I hope everybody um, likes their shirts. I think I think we kind of need to see what they look like. Yeah. And make sure yeah. they're not too. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 You're worried that the logos. I think are the logos be might big. be too and big, this, but this I want to see. Pretty big. Yeah, it's a good size logo. But, luckily. Yeah. <laughs> I'm currently pretty big too. Well, that's the so way it goes. worked out well. Well, so first suggestion was Slayer fabric, which is I assume is the concert shirt. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can go to Joanne and get Slayer fabric. Maybe. Maybe you can yeah. online. You never know. You can get anything. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, Tommy Bahama shirt, Texas T-shirt shirt. Mm -hmm. um, beer comment. <laughs> um, what was the? I don't know that I want our logo that big, on on a guitar. But yeah, let's. I I want to have something that as is kind of subtle. sophisticated and subtle with some gravitas. That's what I want. That means like a kind of a quiet dignity. Yeah. Gr yeah. I mean, can you imagine like... People don't know I know what that like is. Like the Texas Toast. He looked it up last night. Right? <laughs> I did, yeah. Like... Yeah, you wouldn't want to have like a, yeah, like a full-size thing. No. So Yeah, yeah that would, that, that's too much. That's, that's over the top. I'm going to put my foot down on that. Okay. All right. Trump fabric. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> it's not <a> Dirty thing. knobs. <laughs> oh, and by the way, we had a comment I said earlier, and mm. it was from... Oh. Uh, Julian Suarez, Slayer Fabric. Haven't seen that name in a while, dude. I know. That? No, that dude. That dude is. A, he he posts a lot. Oh, does he? Yeah, I just, yeah. I just he might not be able it. to make it always to okay. the live thing. So good to have oh, you here, okay. Julian. And then there was. Uh, what about actual denim? So much wrong with that. We have been asked numerous times about a denim guitar, and I'd want to do it with the pocket still on it. So. And the rivets. And, yeah, yeah. You'd have to have. Yeah, you'd have to have some. So lines too. Otherwise, and you would have to have so you would hose it down. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't think I would want to do it with it sealer. Would, I'd want it to really be. I just want to glue denim. it on there and just have it's gonna it. Going to be, be a dirty <laughs> denim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And a bandana wrapped around part of yeah, it. Yeah, oh, like Chachi. Style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so because that was totally sixties or fifties. Fifties, yeah. yeah. 
Cold Country Sentinel says, old concert t-shirt from the 70s or 80s. Dude, I've been saying this for years. I didn't even have an idea to, we, to do like a little uh, painting with an airbrush of a woman's natural I think we could just under, get some. And then it would look like a wet t-shirt contest yeah, t-shirt. Yeah. We could just Nobody get some like, some like copies of Swank or something and put it under there. and Whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw it one time at the 7-Eleven while I was I did buying too. a Slurpee. <laughs> Swank? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Is there anything else? Does anyone else well, have any uh, fun Bri ideas? Brian Allmark sent uh, some, some money to wish you good luck with the build. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. We're going to need all the luck we can get, I think. Yeah. Because everybody else is so wonderful. <laughs> Everyone else in the contest is so much better than us. Everyone else in the contest is going to kick our butts. What, are, little, what does everyone else say? We're a little behind. Yeah, everybody else in the contest is better than you because they don't trash talk as much. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what everyone else has said. I've, I've heard uh -huh. all these things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy DeResta is better than you. Thank you. Um, Crimson Guitars is going to blow you away. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I don't believe any of that stuff. I like all those guys, but there's no way in hell they're going to make something as neat as we're going to make. No. So, yeah. And you guys know that, too. Come as on. neat as we're going to make or as neat as we're making? We're making. Because that's, that's, the, that's the kicker is yeah. there's, a lot of, there's a lot of armchair racing going on. Yeah. And a lot of, you know, if, if, if I had the, I'd mm, make a, or, yeah. you know. And, and so... Guys, here is what, here's the, the rules of the contest. At, at, at rules of the contest plus a prediction on Matt's part. Okay. Okay? The rules that, that, I, that I just got from, from Crimson Guitars was we want to have everybody's guitar and everybody's video done by September 4th. Okay. Okay? Now, you might go, September 4th, well, that's July, August, September. That's three months away. No. Only it's not. Because July's almost over, and you only go into September four days. So you got about a month, yeah. a month and change. So it's not that much time. So prediction on Matt's part, can you guess what it is? Uh, the contest finish date will change. Will be pushed back. Due yeah. to Ben's uh, you don't think ben inability would. to get it done. Maybe Ben is working on it in secret. He could be working he on could it be. in secret, and I he hope could that he be. is. Um, yeah. But I wouldn't be surprised if he gets pushed back a little bit. And I I hate when that happens. I, I do, get, too. I get all wound up near the end, and I'm like, yeah, here we go. This is it. And yep. then it's going to be two weeks more. Damn it. <sighs> well, here's the thing. Chris and, and I, the Texas Toast guitar will be ready by September 4th. Further into that end, our video will be done by September 4th. We will have something to show you. September 4th, actually it'll be done before then, but the mm -hmm. contest is what it is, so the hardest part is going to be us keeping it a secret from you guys yeah, for really. a month and a half. For so. us, it's going to be keeping our big mouths shut. Yeah, yeah. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how if you figure out. <laughs> if you figure out like, how to do that, I don't know if there's... I, I'm looking for a switch. I still can't find one. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Doug Santan... San Hi, San Doug. Hello. Uh, said, how will it be sold? Auction? That's a great question well, that I, I don't know bids. the there's answer whole, to. Yeah, so there's a whole like stacking of points kind of thing, like Dancing with the Stars, like viewer call-ins, and then the judges' votes, and then whatever technical... Yeah, I've heard of that, but I don't, but I don't know, know for exactly. sure what it's going to be. I don't think there's don't any think there's hard and fast rules about that. I'm not on that. the site there, yet, anyway. No, because the rich, Yeah, they, they, there's some information there. And it's it's a stacked. Um, yes, but I think the whole voting. sale. Of, yeah, and then how much and, you get, and yeah, how many subscribers, handicap, and things uh -huh. like that. We which did we get can a totally take advantage of. I, I got an email from like Mike. An, I think it's going to be almost like an eBay auction. Yeah, right? I think I mean, so. Yeah, I did get an email from Mike today. Or yeah, but not that, today. he's asking how it's sold specifically, yeah. and I lumped it in. Yeah, so sorry. I got an email from uh, viewer Mike who said that he is willing to put up the first thousand bucks yep. for the, the yeah. Texas Toast yeah. model stuff. Yeah. Hasn't even seen it yet, so yeah. No. Um, and that's super generous. Yep. And super cool. Yep. And yep. that's not going to be the winning bid. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but even if, 
even if. <laughs> but aren't you glad the bidding doesn't? The, the bidding starts at a right thousand bucks. Yeah, yeah. Even if we stopped right now. Yeah, the bidding doesn't start at like do. yeah thirty two dollars or something. <laughs> yeah. I used to start all my stuff at like seven cents on eBay. Why seven? Because it's funny. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought there and was like some up. some some yeah. reason that you would choose no, and, and a specific. Would, well, and then you'd get to watch it jump to like fourteen cents. Oh, okay. And and then eventually we'd get to a dollar, and then it would take off okay. from there. But yeah. But yeah. What's that, Carrie Ann? Oh, John Meehan. Who? John Meehan said that guitar better have a beard. <laughs> Chris's it. epic beard. I yeah. Want oh, yeah. This, I want this mask to be made. Yeah. And then David Hokinson, hashtag Team Texas Toast. Right on. Yep. Cutoffs for life. That's another hashtag. It's the four. Oh, yeah. There was a suggestion number. of like having your cutoffs on the denim guitar of like the ass is hanging out. <laughs> maybe with the butt, the maybe I'll and, include yeah. a, a pair of my cutoffs. I'm not going to do that. Maybe but just one of the strings. That, that's going to be one. Yeah, you get one of the frays. You get yeah. Matt's cutoffs like if a you lock buy the of guitar. Fray. No, no one wants that. <laughs> Nobody wants that. <laughs> yeah, no. People, everyone wants Chris's beard. No one wants I'll pay my more cutoffs. For, I'll pay more for no cutoffs. Cutoffs for life, Chris. So, uh, anyway, thanks for all the suggestions on the um, fabric top. I'm, I'm sure we missed a few, but yeah, let we'll, me know, we'll guys. I'm still, I'm still wanting to go to like the Goodwill and look for old like Star Wars, like '70s Star Wars sheets or something. The problem with a lot of that stuff is the thread count is so little. As remember, we ran into that on the Grateful Dead one that we're doing right now. By the way, the Dancing Bear Inlay are, I think, inbound. So, thanks to Russ at Music Engineering Services for hooking us up. Yeah. Um, so this morning, uh, Big D, I always forget to tell I you guess guys Big about Big D's here. Big D. Oh, okay. I always forget to tell you guys about Big D. I don't know why, but, but I do. And so I, it, it's rude of me to do, and I don't mean to, I just, I just forget. So, um, this morning, Big D had a, a update and he said, and he got a lot of people asking him to trash talk. And he said he didn't want to do that because he doesn't know everybody well enough to do that. And that he tends to get a little personal and a little mean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like it. Well, yeah, <laughs> Mrs. Toast digs that. So Brad, uh, Brad was actually, he was, he was saying he was going to send basically dick pics to you <laughs> in his Texas Toast shirt. I'm like, well, that seems a little bit tacky, but okay, Brad, if that's, that's where you want to go, that. then yeah. And someone suggested that he sends a, like a poster size photo of him so we can so, hang it in the shop i'm like i will fucking frame it and hang it in the so shop. imagine this brad angle hilarious. in his texas toast shirt it's probably going to be a, like an extra extra kid small <laughs> and probably no pants it's just going to be like yeah brad pantsless in his teeny tiny texas toast shirt <laughs> or whatever it is that he I, that's what i imagine so yeah. as long as he puts the like sybil this. shepherd filter on then I can What's the Sybil Shepherd film? Well, because you know, he obviously has the Sybil Shepherd. Remember in Moonlighting? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm so sure he's got the, he puts Vaseline on the lens. Okay. And it, he looks all smooth. Does that make your stuff. junk look big? I don't know. Well, that's I don't the know. Angie just, Dickinson. Police yeah. Oh, yeah, police oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Why is this so fuzzy? Yeah. So, anyway, so, um, so Big D didn't, didn't feel like doing any trash talking, and I get it, um, uh, but I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Um, and hopefully nobody takes anything that we say personally, you know. I, I think that's, the, that's the, the, the problem with a lot of trash talk is people think it's, one, people think it's real. Mm -hmm. And, like, I really think that Brad is going to send my wife dick pics, which I don't think. But it's a funnier thing to say than it is to, you know, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Not, not, oh, but you, I'm just you're waiting looking at for me an like, email. Yeah, that's all. No, Brad's really he funny. He hasn't gotten his t-shirt yet. So no. It'll I think be he's a, a good laugh. Week. I've been, you know, really stressed out at work lately. <laughs> no, Brad's really funny, and he's, he's a great guy, and he, he and I have been enjoying back and forth. I'm trying to get some other people into it because I'm kind of getting to – I'm not going to – okay, here's what I don't want this to be, me and Brad just, like, battling it out. Well, I kind of want to get some other people into it, you know. Well, After a while, like you the Iron Cheek and yeah, right? yeah. You, yeah. You start to run out of, of, you know, jabs, and then you and then you start getting deep. maybe a little deep cuts. There's a little, yeah. a little six mean. or seven other people so, who yeah. yeah are in this. Yeah, Let's, yeah, and yeah. it's it's not just 
yeah, beat up on Brad <laughs> yeah. or beat up on Texas Toast. Well, he's yeah. swinging back, so it There's, makes it more yeah. fun. It's way yeah. more fun yeah. if everybody is having fun with uh-huh. it. Yeah. And I don't think anybody's really, at the end of the day, going to get hurt by by any... Well, you know, I, the Texas Toast guys said that that Brad <laughs> does this, so I'm not going to watch his channel. No, I don't think yeah. anybody... Any, really? No the only one's going to well, get if, hurt. If, if people probably are gonna... us for <laughs> doing as much trash talking as But I mean, as as if done. people get upset about that, then they probably shouldn't be watching these videos in the first probably place. Probably not. Yeah. yeah. That's a good weeding out process. <laughs> we... <Yeah. laughs> so, so, Brad and I actually talked about doing some of this before mm-hmm. we did and tomorrow and i have talked about it too so expect for for yeah, tomorrow night yeah. to kind of have some some back and forth and mm-hmm. um which i'm looking forward to because she's a nice lady and and i think she'll she'll do something really funny because she kind of looks like one of those people who wouldn't say shit if she had a mouthful but i bet you she's like kind of gonna be she's kind of gonna throw some some below the belt still yeah. water, still funny. waters run deep yeah, yeah yeah so i'm looking forward to what tomorrow comes up with but you know what's going to happen when she does that? Everyone's going to go, yeah, tell those guys. They're a bunch of jerks. And when I say, hey, I, Tamar is so blah, 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 that she does blah, 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 blah. And I'll get inundated with hate mail for that. Yeah. Well, I'll say yeah. it like, oh, let's send her a box of tampons or something. <laughs> like, I can say that because I, you know, used to use them. So, <laughs> yeah, and leave it's that a, to me. But, okay. it, but, it's a, but, but I don't want to send, I, I don't want to make this about, like, anyone's gender or anything like that. It's all about the I'm guitar. I'm just kidding. No, I know, I know. But that would be tacky even for me. Um, but I think it's funny to go, you know, your guitar is so little, it has to hang glide on a Dorito or whatever it is, you know. I, yeah. It's just... <laughs> Brad's shirts are so small, he's never shopped in the men's department. <laughs> Stuff like that. I don't want... I don't know. So, um, can... McGee, send, mm-hmm. send her a weenie roller. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, that's I did send Tamar and Brad a care package, and I suspect that in the coming week, you guys will probably see some videos about what what I sent them. I Hopefully, they'll be able to use that. It's just dumb stuff, and they'll, they'll go, like, you know, hopefully they make a thing out of it. I hope, yeah, I can't yeah. imagine that they wouldn't. No, and no. And, yeah, it's, it's, it, this whole thing is... Everybody, you know, every hopefully everybody should be having fun with it, and hopefully yeah. everybody should should, you know, it's 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 a serious competition. Yep. But it can still be lighthearted and fun. Sure. You sure. Know? I mean, we're not curing cancer. We're we're building guitars. We're doing our best to yeah bring music to and people, so. yeah, and it's 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 fun to talk about how good our guitar is going to be and, and it how is. it's going to be better than everybody else's, and, and that's it is. really kind of how it starts. Yeah. And, and then it goes from there, so, mm-hmm. yeah. Yes, ma'am. Jeff Childs just got really excited. Hey, Jeff. And sent some beer money for Matt, giving me a peek at my first year anniversary limited edition body. What is that about? That's, uh... Yeah. This, Sitting over here, mm-hmm. waiting this to be one talked right about? Here, actually, yeah. It's in the middle of a pile of stuff. It's in the middle of a pile of stuff. And Big D says that Brad has bigger arms than your legs. Um, I don't know if you've seen Matt's legs. They're like tree trunks, yeah, seriously. I, I, <laughs> I think Big D's gonna have to work on it, but I, I, but if he doesn't want to do trash talk, then I, I get it. I, no, seriously, your legs are like tree trunks. Well, they are. Yeah. But yeah. Maybe Brad's a lot bigger than I know. Maybe for he's a mountain of a man. I don't know. I'm not saying they're muscular. They're, no, they're no. Thick. Yeah. They're thick. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I would like to get. Uh, I'm gonna try. So Ben is, is trying to get in on the trash talk too, and he's yeah. he's dabbling in it. He's doing he's doing a good job, but I, I yeah I think he needs some more ammo, and so I need to throw him a bone. Yeah, yeah, I unfortunately he's in the position where he's sort of putting this on. Yeah, which yeah. is yeah. So he can, he can only say so much. Hey, come and do this thing, and I'll beat up on you. <laughs> <laughs> So Ivan Shank said some hi, said Ivan. some uh, metric money to say hi guys. Metric money. I love maybe, metric. Money. Maybe Ivan's in in Canada too, just like Brad. I don't know. How long do you think it'll take to get? So I sent the packages on what Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm-hmm. The uh, the Tamar probably will get hers if she hasn't already. How did you send them? Uh, I think I sent them like in a box. Priority mail, I think. Yeah. Okay. But but I guess in New York, New York, it's like 
just crazy because like yeah. you know everything's shut down and stuff. Yeah, but um, still, it should be less than less than. Five yeah, yeah, years. but but I don't know how long it's going to take for it to get to Canada. It Sometimes might... that stuff happens really fast because they they fly it. Okay, yeah, I don't so, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. So know. he he might get it pretty fast. Man, I ordered some stuff from China <laughs> the other day, and mm-hmm. I paid I paid a little bit of extra mm-hmm. to get it fast. Yeah, and I got it really fast. Okay, I was like. It's, cool. it's remarkable how how quickly things can how can go. They can, and how yeah. how sometimes slow it can be. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I love that. What is it? K Cole four thousand one. K Cole. More metric beer money. Metric beer. That's hilarious. So let's talk a little bit about but the beer. beer's not metric; it's the money. Oh, That's okay. Metric. Yeah. Well, there we get a lot of people telling me. All this beer that I ought to be drinking, or I ought to be drinking, like one guy. One guy was really funny. He's like, "You should drink this because it's you know what men drink and 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 stuff like that." I'm not a very big drinker. I think. And yeah, people people are like, "What do you mean you drink like two or three beers every or three or four beers every live stream?" Yeah, but, but they're, they're these beers. They're, they're not like you know high test beer. Sessionability. Yeah, yeah. So it's hot. I'm it's not. July. Yeah, that's the other thing is is and 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 there's some beer that I really do like and I don't I don't drink I don't drink I don't sit around the shop all day drinking Guinness and I don't I it's hard to get Shiner here um, it's not it's not impossible but it's tricky so I don't drink a lot of Shiner but yes ma'am oh no it's just Bob's just Bob Rosowski Bob sends more beer money you guys rock I God love God bless you Bob. I think a lot of the the um, trying to get me drunk, so I'll do something stupid. A lot of the, the oh, that doesn't need to be drunk. The bad beer talk. Yeah. You think that's just people, trash talking? Yeah, just trash talking us, which I thought was funny. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and yeah, Is but you Coors know, Light the greatest beer ever. No. How did we land on Not Coors Light? I don't know. You know, I have no idea. I think part of it was that sticker. The powered by Coors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's the thing. We there. Billy Gibbons had a. a it wasn't a Telecaster because it was a Bowen one, but it was on the where the where the on the upper non cutaway horn on the back. There was an old hot rod sticker, and it said "Powered by Coors." This was years ago. And I looked it up, and I'm like, I want to get one of those Powered by Coors stickers. Those are cool. Especially since we're in Colorado and not yeah. Texas. Yeah. Yeah, and Coors and is so, And Shiner's not really readily available yeah. everywhere. And so so I looked him up on eBay. And, and they, Lone Star is not just a beer company. It's no. also a guitar company. Yeah. So we're not drinking Lone yeah. Star. Yeah. And Lone Star kind of sucks. I like Lone Star. But anyway, so anyway, so I, I looked up those Powered by Coors stickers, and they were like $25 on eBay. And I'm like, well, the hell with that. I'll just get some that, I'll just make my own stickers that say Powered by Coors and have, have the Texas Toast stuff. And they don't say guitars on them anywhere. Because the Powered by Coors, it used to be where it says Coors, it used to say like Powered by Pontiac or Powered by Chevy or Powered by whatever. Mm-hmm. And so there was, you know, then there was Budweiser and stuff like that. So. Um, so powered by Coors was is an old hot rod sticker, and a lot of our things are old hot rod stickers that we kind of commandeered, like the genuine stolen parts one. Mm-hmm. That was a yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, so uh, Eddie Burke says Ben's latest video. He hand built a fretboard, and if you pay attention to his dry humor and subtle ways, right, he was throwing very polite shade toward y'all. Oh, was he? I watched yeah. some of that, and Did I'm you? like, I, yeah, I didn't watch it all. Cool. Yeah. And then uh, Tom L says, "Chug, chug, chug, chug." Yeah. Thank you, Tom. So, yeah. Well, I, I I guess I should rewatch I can that only video. Finger Mrs. Toast's. Hey, don't phone finger so Mrs. Much. Toast. So I I guess I should rewatch the Ben video. I kind of I I kind of speed through a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, but every time I watch most people's videos, I'm like, why are they taking the long way around the barn on so much of this stuff? Mm, do you? Oh okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's hand cutting fret slots, which is fine for a little while. Yeah. But yeah, there's other ways to do it. And I and think Ben has you he still gets... have you still have to have a lot of that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, you still have to have a template. I guess Ben gets a lot of juice from the yeah. hand tool. I'm gonna say this: Ben gets a lot of juice from doing this. 
<laughs> Dutch rudder. <laughs> That is, to say, yeah. that is to say, using hand tools. Uh -huh. And this is the motion for using most hand tools. Saws, uh -huh. other stuff that is a hand. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so, but I, I don't. I, I, um, I hate cutting fret slots with a, with a saw and this motion. I hate it. I can't stand it. Well, and, and, and what made that, and for the longest time, I thought, that was the way you did it. There couldn't possibly be any other way but to have that cool Stumac or Crimson fret slotting yep. jig that well, cost way too much. Remember though, it was it was either that mm -hmm. or a gang saw that would do all of them at once like you saw at the factory. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it was like, well, okay, if I want to be a guitar builder, yep. this is what I have to it's have. Part of the and deal. that's misinformation yeah. by the people that sell that tool. And instead of saying, well, you know, there's other ways to do it, or instead of somebody else going, hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. There might be another way to do this. I'll bet you I could convert some sort of power tool mm -hmm. to do this. Yeah. Like you a know? radial arm saw? Oh, like a radial arm saw. And they sell, Harbor Freight sells little cheap radial arm saws that I can't imagine the table would be, saw, right? Yeah, table, yeah. yeah, table saws that would be any good for anything but other cutting than, fret yeah. slots. I, and it's like, why, why, cause, you know what, cause that, though, that tool, that whole process sucks butt. But there are some, well, but it, but it works. It does work. It yeah. works. And, mm -hmm. and, and there are, I think there are some guys who like the whole making it, you know, it's like if you're not doing 10 fretboards at a time, right? it's great. Yeah. As soon as you have to do a bunch of fretboards all in one day, yeah. it gets old really, really fast. I don't know if Jesse's watching, but Jesse rents space from us yeah. now and gets to use some of our tools. And I know that's how he used to cut fret slots. And he cut one on our fret slotting. I just cut one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, not, <laughs> not, not a fret slot, though. Um, a fart and, slot. And I'll bet you he never cuts another one by hand again. Well, unless you know he what? Absolutely has Back in to. the day, somebody fucking whittled their guitar out of a guy's sure. pocket knife. Well, yeah, sure. So yeah, yeah. you're going to do that, too? Mm -hmm. But I, I find myself, like, you were making these today, and I look over and you're, you're using, you know, the spindle sander. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, of course, why would you not use the spindle sander? I have it. Yeah, but but I'd have gone at this with a file. Yeah. Like yeah. an idiot. No, no. You would have done that for a few seconds, then you go, Maybe. Hey, how's Maybe. come I'm doing with but this I've with done, a file? I've done stuff like that before. This one I, this one do, I did with do, a file. Do, do, do. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But yeah. But but it's like, yeah, anytime you can throw electricity at something. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to go It's gonna go way faster. And it's probably going to go better. You know what that reminds me of? Yes, ma'am. Oh, Dave Swab's on here. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. Creepy Coney Island guy on your logo. Creepy We're talking Coney. about that. Hey, we have oh, Dave. Yeah. What is the Coney Island thing? Is that from the Funhouse or something? The the, the like the the, the, the Joker the, guy. The, Here the he is. Mask, this guy. The this face. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy. Yeah. I think Can it's from the Funhouse, but I could be wrong. Since anyways, I've never actually been. Anyways, yeah. he says that uh, Stumac and LMI sell table saw blades for fret slots. That's where ours came from. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's just it's. So much better. When I was at Roberto Van in the '80s, we didn't use the hand slaughter. We used the table saw. With, oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And so, yeah. Uh, so someone, so the whole idea of using a hand tool because you can reminds me of another thing. <laughs> yes. And not to pick on Brad, but let's pick on Brad. Sure. And something he said. Something that Brad and losers say. God damn it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. So Brad, in Brad's latest video, he said, he, I'm going to try to say it like Brad. You know, just because you can do something. No, wait, that's too. That's how would he too say Paul it? Stanley. Yeah, yeah. It's totally Paul you Stanley. To, you just have to, hey, hey, hey. Hey, uh, guys. Hey, guys. What's sorry, up? Sorry to, sorry to interrupt you, but. Sorry. But you know, uh, I was oot in the. No wait, you should start with the... wait. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. Oh hey. Oh oh hey, <laughs> oh hey. Here's Brad. Yeah, so Brad said this in his video. Oh so uh, sorry, I was oot in the uh, oot in the show up, and uh, just because you can do something, 
Doesn't mean you should. I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm looking at you guys over there, Texas Toast. This is Brad. I'm not your call. guy, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, so he said, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. And he was talking specifically about the contest guitars. Yeah. And how he wasn't gonna do something. <laughs> I can't over remember the top. what. It, what? Yeah. 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 You know, and up. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna call out Big D a little bit too. Okay. Because Big D today said that he didn't want to make something that was crazy, crazy over the top uh -huh. either because he wanted to get a bunch of likes. Mm -hmm. Big D, if you're still watching and I got that wrong, please correct me if I'm wrong because I don't want, I don't want to misquote you. Um, but first of all, this is not a contest where you throttle back. You know what I mean? This no. is where you pull out all the stops. And you show people what you can do. I get his point, though. He's keeping it simple. Keep it doing, doing the basic thing to the best ability. And I get that. There, there is a lot to be said for something that is simple and cool. And perfect. And perfect, yeah. yeah. White t-shirt and blue jeans is always going to be cool. You can't, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't have to. But with a leather jacket, not a members only. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, if you if you have a a good cheeseburger, doesn't need to have shiitake it's like, mushrooms. It's if like it's pizza. Pizza. If it's yeah. good pizza, it yeah. doesn't need all the crap on top. Yeah. 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 You're sort of sort of defeating your. But but that that's if you do it correctly. You know that that's the thing. It's surprising how many people get pizza and burgers wrong. But mm -hmm. you can make an awesome pizza and have awesome toppings. Yeah. That's that's just it. But Chris and I have decided long ago that. We're not doing this because we think you guys like it. We're doing it because that's what we want to make. And we hope that you like it, but we're not going to change who we are because you do or don't like what we're doing. And this contest to us is all about wagering your ego. And if you're not willing to wager your ego on this contest, you're doing it wrong. Now, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm actually not trash talking anybody right now. This is a real thing. If you're not laying it on the line, eh, then I then I don't think you're you're living your best life when it comes to the. Does that make sense, or am I just am I just out of line here? Well, so so you you have nothing to lose and everything to gain by throwing everything you can do at the project. Well, yeah. So so that's just it. What do you lose if you lose the contest? Nothing. It's not like we had to put up a bunch of money to, no. you know, to enter. You still. Yeah. It's not like what do you win if you win? Well, and what does what does second place pay? <laughs> yeah, that's just nothing. It. Nothing. Yeah. nothing. What does Same first, as first place pay? Yeah. Nothing. Well, nothing. But here's, but here's, bragging rights. Everybody's yeah. a winner because you, you've raised money for a good cause. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I I now now this kind of segues fairly nicely into our next topic. And that is that I think there are a lot of people watching who want something barely pedestrian, kind of vanilla, something that they is familiar. They don't want anything ridiculous and over the top. They want, I uh, know, I really like, you know, anything by the big three guitar makers who I know and I see them at Guitar Center and I, I go there and I watch that stuff. Um, that's what I, I think that's what a lot of people who are watching this contest want to see. They're going to hate what we make. Do you think that's They're going what people to want to see? I, I, think that, I think that they, yeah, I do. And here's why. I decided a long time ago that 99% of the guitar buying population buys Strats and Tellys and Les Pauls and SGs and Paul Reed Smiths and the stuff that's really popular. The other 1% is... Someone who wants something because it's not that, mm -hmm. you know? And every boutique builder has to fight for their little share of that little 1%. So if you're a 1% guitar maker, you have to struggle to do this. And you kind of have to make something that's, that res resounds with, with people. If you're a 99% guitar maker, that's cool. But... Yeah, but you're not you're not breaking any new ground, you know. Yeah. So, anyway, yes, Mrs. Oh, okay, so Ken McGee says if you lose to Brad, you lose your pride, 
And Matt's been saying this the whole time. You're betting your ego on this. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, he's wagering the most out of anybody. I, yeah, yeah, I have the biggest ego out of any one of those fools. So, mm -hmm. anyway. Maybe Tamar has bigger ego than me. We maybe. don't know. We maybe. don't know. Maybe. Yeah. She's a really, she's a cool, cool lady, and I look forward to seeing what she comes up with. The, the thing about, you know, yeah, never mind. No, the, go, the, go ahead. You got to, you got to put your best foot forward, and you got to kind of try and push your limits a little bit on stuff like this. I think so. You know, that's you can't kind just of the make, general consensus and, and of I the think comment. That's kind People of think that too? Yeah. Okay, that good. That we've discussed on this is is we're not going to do the the same old stuff that we that we always do. Yeah. We're gonna we're you know we're gonna push some limits and we're gonna we're gonna try and learn some stuff. And but we also want to make something decidedly ourselves. a Texas Toast guitar. Well, oh yeah, absolutely. But You'll be able to tell from across <laughs> the room. Are you gonna go outer limits? Outer limits. Possibly. Yep. Yeah. So Jack Rosa says that Texas Toast guitar. Wait. Oh, Who's sorry. this, Jeff? Wait, Jack. Jack, it just sorry. jumped. Something just jumped on my screen and stupid telephone. So that you should basically stick to beer videos, I think. Is, I, I don't even <laughs> find that. Stick to beer videos. Away. So he doesn't like our away. guitars? He wants us to just sit around drinking beer? I'm paraphrasing because now. Oh, here it is. Texas Toast Guitars. It's better to do beer videos. Good luck. Mmm. That's some, that's some thanks solid for the trash good, talk. Harsh yeah. toke. No, but yeah. I mean, yeah. thanks for wishing yeah. us good luck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wonder who he's a fan of. I. I think he's probably I'm sure, a yeah, fan it's, of ours yeah. as well. well. I don't know. I don't. We have a very small audience. Yeah. You know why? Because we don't make a ton of. Well, we do make a lot of like other people's designs, but yeah. Yeah, we make a lot of stuff for for. Yeah, but we. I, it, I I think that our audience looks to us to make stuff that's wacky and kooky and. That's and what we do cool. best with. Yeah. When yeah. we, you know, if we make a. So we yeah, got like 20 minutes to go. We haven't guitar. moved on to topic number two yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No acoustic guitars, by the way. Oh, drat. Don't give it away. Someone said we're going to make a banjo. Oh, no. Someone's <laughs> asked if you do or have made acoustic. Yeah. I have, but I do not now. So uh, so let's talk about, let's talk about why people love cheap guitars. And I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Uh, let's, so let's move forward. Moving forward. So... Have we already established that if you aren't making something that really showcases everything you can do, you're sucking hind tit on the contest as far as Matt's concerned? Yeah. We've already covered that, right? Yeah. Well, there's playing it safe and there's there's playing to win. And, yeah. If Texas Toast if is know, in it you know to the win. Game, it. If you know the game, yeah. 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 You got to play to win. Well, you're putting yeah. it out there like a big old matzo ball. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 If you're willing to break the ice. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of song lyrics about this. If you want to stay afloat, you got to rock the boat. Rock the boat, baby. Yeah. All right. Anyway. So is there another, is there a super chat that came in, love? Yeah. Uh, Jeff Childs, haters be damned, exclamation point. Did you, <laughs> Jeff, did you know, Jeff, what I'm calling our, our entry into the Great Guitar Build-Off? The Hater Maker. It's going to be good. <laughs> That's actually a really good name. <laughs> so I would like to know, let's, so let's shift gears while we still have some time left. I want to talk about cheap guitar videos because, or why people love cheap guitars. And the reason, and I'm going to let you kind of vamp on this for a while, Chris, but I've, like, I've been inundated with videos about like, hey, check out this cheap thing. And hey, what are, what are the top 10 cheap hunks of crap from somewhere? And, and what, what, what is it about? Cheap guitars that everybody loves. Cheap hunks of junk. Um, I think it's first and foremost. I think that people like to feel like they're getting a deal, and if, if okay. you're buying a guitar that's cheaper but seemingly just as good, you know, when you when you boil it down to its its very bare essence, if it if it plays well and and sounds a lot like a guitar. That, that can be a cool thing for a lot of people. So you can get a lot of value yeah, out of it. Yeah, okay. but the other thing I think, too, is just the idea that, that more is better. And mm -hmm. which is cooler, you know, 10 $300 guitars or one $3,000 $3, guitar? Yeah. And I, I'm willing to bet that most people would say 10 $300 guitars, or a lot of people would say that. And and then the 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 other part of it is, you can take this 
this thing and customize it and make it your own and not have and, and it's just as good as the thousand dollar guitar or the fifteen hundred dollar guitar but but you've done it yourself and you've customized it yourself if that were true wouldn't the thousand dollar two thousand dollar three thousand dollar ten thousand dollar guitars be like a dodo they would be yeah. like they would yeah, they would well, they would cease yeah. to exist yeah right? but there's there, but this is just we're just talking generally about about a lot of people or most people but then there's also people that that appreciate the the truly good stuff that, yeah and really i like cheap guitars and for a long time i really liked them because it was fun to mod them and it was fun to to learn how to do that stuff okay um and that's cool the the problem with that is after a while you at least for me you just kind of like peter out on that whole that whole concept and you realize man i'm spending a lot of money on fixing up terrible guitars just <laughs> okay so that segues stuff. into a comment first of all i want to say hola to argentina hola. hola okay and so mike edward says hey mike it's perfect timing perfect Easier to grow a collection with cheap guitars and mod them when you get the cash. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think, yeah, that's... that's. But how cool is the collection it. when you get done with it? Uh, and, know. by the way, how many times have you... How many people out there have bought a house and say, I love this land, I love all this land, I'm, I'm going to fix this, and I'm going to fix this, and I'm going to fix this, and yeah. ten years later, would you... Fucking yeah, that is, is very right? likely that yeah, a lot of yeah, that stuff doesn't yeah, get fixed. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear that. Yeah, and <laughs> the the other thing I think is a lot of guys, um, and I could be one of these as well. It's it's more about buying stuff and getting stuff than consuming. it is about yeah consuming. Okay. it's it's yeah yeah a guitar Hoarding. collection. Yeah, why do I need a uh, guitar collection? Why can't it's like I just Nigel. have a couple of guitars? He's just got cars that, you know, guitars he's never played. They want to be played. By the way, that guitar that was never played and never touched, and you've seen enough of that one, wasn't it like a Mustang? Uh, it was a Bass 6. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, Brock Wickland. Brock That Lester. sounds like a fake name. Or a doesn't porno like name. A... Cock Wister. No, All right. Okay. Yeah. Cool guitars are cool guitars. I bought a homemade grabber bass for $300. And it is better than any other bass I have owned. Now, let's say that <coughs> any handmade, homemade, shop-made guitar, especially your first one, is always going to be cool. Because you you did it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen the first guitar I ever made? Yes. You have? Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, I'm kind of surprised I showed you that. But yeah, it, it doesn't get played. I don't even think it has strings on it. But it was a, it's a cool guitar because it was the very first one I ever made, and it's, it's neat. You know? And Brad also would like to build a grabber in one of your classes. That doesn't suck. No, that would be totally cool. Yeah, yeah right on. Yeah. Yeah. It's... We should offer a bass class. Wouldn't that yeah. be cool? Yeah, that'd be fun. Like one month have a bass class? <laughs> uh -huh. you got to pull all the, all the bass builder guys because, you know... It's a smaller pool, yeah, I yeah. think, to see what dates would work. Well, I think what we'll do is what we're, as, as we get into the new cycle of the year, which is for us August, we'll have um, classes. I think we're going to schedule a year's worth of classes, right? Right. And like one month there'll be one thing. Yeah, there'll be, there'll be so, you can, so you can sign up in advance and know what you're getting. So, uh, so, so, Mike, so Michael says, good evening from Liverpool, England. <clears throat> Good luck Liverpool. in the build-up. And you, I don't Michael. test a note of sarcasm because he's the Crimson fan. Well, I don't know that he's so, a Crimson fan. Well, I, I'm, I'm saying I don't detect this. Oh, yeah. This, this is a genuine, yeah. you know, I, like I, a Canadian I, polite I, thing to I, say. You might just be a nice guy, yeah. He yeah, sounds maybe, like he is. Maybe he knows You're that lovely. Uh, Thank we're you. all winners. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it really, it, it really is cool. And I think we're all going to be winners provided people kind of push the envelope a little bit. The more well, you push the envelope, the cooler it'll be. And know? I think I think you get back what you put in on something like this. And if you don't, if you don't, you know, kind of ride the wave of, of never the contest. coming back until I touch the midnight sun. Uh -huh. here's, a, here's a valid question. Yes, yeah. you're gonna miss out. Question about why people can't just have the choice of building a bass or a guitar mm. in the class. Oh, okay. And this is because all the hardware is supplied. 
Um, so we could do that, but you would need to let us know well in advance what hard what you wanted to do. You would be doing everything, like say you got four guys in a class, yep. and one guy's building a base. You're doing it, things pretty yeah, it would, differently. It wouldn't than... be that. It wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it would be a deal. Yeah. So, so we have would to need know to know about it early yeah. enough that we could. Yeah. get ready to do that so doing i think you know if you could put like four guys building a base yeah. together would be much better camaraderie way easier than than three guys building a telecaster and one guy building right. yeah yeah. The base. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and yeah. the camaraderie it's and so, then the cool freaking porno licks that come out at the end when people are like boom, 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 boom. so my friend richard ryan came to the shop for the first time in a long time today i think today was the first day he's yeah been i haven't seen richard in a long long at time the new shop and and he said he said you know in your videos it's like why wouldn't you want to come here and i'm like yeah thank you richard gets it so yeah, yeah. yeah. richard thanks for watching or thanks for coming in i i think he's gonna he might be watching so yeah, it was really great to well, see. Well, he said today. he was—he's got to go now, so he can watch. While, so he can YouTube get there in time to yeah. watch it. He could have sat back and watched. <laughs> he could have been here live, yeah. studio. He could have been yeah. part of the peanut gallery. Yeah, yeah. Matt could have said, "Hey, shut the hell up." Richard's fairly, fairly uh, uh, easy to wrangle. Lance and Grace are the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. anyway, and I miss Lance and Grace too. So. so, so we're done talking about cheap guitars. I don't know. I have no. Let's talk some more about it. I don't know what do you, what do you want to talk about? I think I think cheap. I think there's a diff, I think there's different levels of cheap guitars. Okay. And and there's there's inexpensive guitars, mm -hmm. and that's a guitar that doesn't cost a lot. That's maybe made in a, in a country that has cheap cheap labor. Sure. Um, but it's still a pretty decent instrument. Mm -hmm. And then there's cheap guitars, which are those sixty nine dollar. You know, train wrecks that yeah. people buy and make excuses as to why they bought it. Yeah. Um, and then they and then they proceed to to try and fix that up, which is just riddled with with issues I, and. I have a and new stuff like that. thing that I've been working on, and I stole it from uh, a di another industry. And it's so what I've been saying about our daily driver is they're fun to play mm -hmm. and cool to own. Mm -hmm. Now our daily drivers aren't exactly. We're not giving them. No. But they're the most affordable guitars we make. Yeah. Um, they're the least least manufacturer suggested retail guitars we make. And I think they're really cool to own. Yeah. Even if you get the base model one. Yeah. It's yeah. really cool. I don't know. Do you get the same juice from No. A Squire Telecaster? I'll, no. I'll, no. I'll, I'm it, sure if, I'm sure mm, I'm sure a Squire Telecaster is fun to play. Mm -hmm. But is it cool to own? No, and I think you're right. But here's how it goes down. Okay. And there's like everything else. There's Squire, and then there's Squire, and they yeah, have, that's right. They have you know really really cheap stuff, and they have some stuff that's actually pretty damn nice. Absolutely, I think and, I think it's it's, it's yeah, remarkable, and, and some of it's actually pretty neat. And if it said Fender on the headstock, people would be going ape shit for yep. it. But they haven't done that yet. But what happens is. Somebody will say, "Yeah, I got this Telecaster. It's a Squire." But uh -huh. and then the list comes out. It's but, one of the good ones. It's one of the good <laughs> ones. Or but I put this on it, this on it, this yeah. on it. I changed the pickups. It's got a pick guard. I changed the tuners. Da 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 da. Or, you know, yeah, I bought this this uh, Squire Telecaster, but. It's it's one of the. Have you heard of this series that they do? They're really good. Yeah. And it's it's there's always a qualifier with okay. a cheap guitar, versus yeah I bought this really cool guitar. No, Here it is. no one says hey and I got this. He's got a great personality. <laughs> yeah, he's got yeah. a nice cheek. I like but no, nice but cheek. no one says no one says hey I got this brand new Fender Custom Shop Strat. But, but <laughs> yeah, no one yeah, says no, that. No, I got this Gibson Les Paul. <laughs> but. Yeah. yeah, but it's one of the. But yeah. I got it at Wildwood, so you uh -huh. know it's good. Yeah, and there's there's always that qualifier, and so you know secretly they're like, they're like, eh. not not as jazz. Well, or they're 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 trying to hedge the, hedge the oh their... why are you buying that garbage or yeah. whatever it is. Are, there, was, there was some there were really some fun, comments that, that so. sneaked in at the le they weren't super chats they were just regular ones. So. Bootstrap pickups. I don't know. We're talking about my voice. That I have a lovely voice. And you do have a lovely. I voice. know about bootstrap pickups. Yeah, we've used some you, bootstrap you pickups. You changed the they were... topic off of me. Oh, oh sorry. 
<laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Go ahead, bootstrap pickups. Uh, I, they They're bootstraps cool. were, yeah. were just fine, yeah. 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 No, I had a little side conversation going on. Oh, you had a side? You had a sidey? Yeah, with my Nathan Frank. Wow, Nathan Frank? No, the guy from Coney Island. Dave, oh. Dave, yeah. Yeah. I I think that I think the cheap <gasps> guitars. Oh Jim my God. Bucket said I got this Texas Toast guitar, but dot dot dot. Oh damn. <laughs> Show me your receipt. I don't believe that yeah. you got one. What's What's that guitar's name? Your dad's butthole. If it's your dad's butthole, you got a good one. Yeah. I don't think so. There, there are very few Texas Toast guitars with that don't have girls' names. Correct. That was a thing for a while. Booby Miles is one. Mr. Poopy Butthole. That was never. That one changed to Kelly Savalas. Mr. Poopy Butthole became Roundy, Kelly Savalas. Oh no, it wasn't cr Roundy Crowny. Roundy Crowny is not really any. Roundy Crowny had it's, another name too. It did, did it? too. Yes, it did. Oh, okay. And then we had, there's Christina Pickles and. Yeah. Yeah, but for, there was a whole but there thing. there's there's one or two Hillary Skank. Hillary, Hillary Skank. Skank. which Brett hated. Yeah, one Brett's or two. Brett's hot mom. That's a good one too. Or Brett shot mom. Mm -hmm. Depends on where yeah. the uh, yeah. yeah. But I think I think that Punch there are only two, one or two, Texas Toast guitars that don't have girls' names, and one of them is Booby Miles, and I and I don't, can't remember what the other one is. So yeah. Speedo burrito. Uh, I guess that That's would be that unisex. would not really be well. I hope that isn't unisex. Speedo. Well, if you have a burrito in your speedo, then yeah. You so should. do you remember the way that that came up? What speedo burrito? Speedo burrito. No. Uh, so but, I remember who where we were. Yeah, we were here. We were right here, uh -huh. and I remember who was here. And we here. had we had uh, Big Mama burrito tacos that day, and we had their card out, and it was on the table, mm. and it's got all this stuff scratched out. So that place had another name before it was kind Big Mama like that, Burrito. Oh, kind of like we that were trying flyer to figure for that out. band yes. and all the stuff was scratching yeah, yeah, we're trying to figure out what it was called before it was Big Mama Burrito. And it was Speedo. And somebody said Speedo Burrito. <laughs> and then it was, that guitar should be called Speedo Burrito. <laughs> there you so, go. So, yeah, uh, Ed BM Blues. Ed Blues. Wicked Woman Ed Stealer. Blue. That that guitar was a total mistake. That, the a, Wicked was, Woman Stealer is a model. That's not an actual well, the original, name. Well, the the original yeah. Rick, Wicked Woman, Woman Stealer was. Yeah, was, but it is it is possible to have a so Wicked Woman Stealer named, you know, um, I don't I don't know some some broads. Candy Gloria Girl. Scheinman. Yeah. yeah. Candy Girl. That Candy was one. Girl. Gloria Steinem. <gasps> that should be Scheinman. Ruth Gator Ginsburg. <laughs> Ruth, yeah, whatever. Ruth Gator yeah. Ginsburg, yeah. Whatever. Some Gator. lady. Ruth Gator. Ruth Gator, Ruth Gator, Ruth Gator, Ruth Gator yeah. Binsburg. <laughs> Bins Binsford. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. cheap guitars. Where where do we come down? I, mean, I don't really care. If like if you like no. cheap guitars, you yeah, like, yeah, I've just yeah. been I've just been so amazed at like the number of videos about inexpensive guitars that there are. I'm like, oh my god, do people really care about and, and really, cheap guitars? This is what it comes down to, okay. and I've gone through this here recently. Tell us what it really comes it, down it to. It comes down to your ability to sit on extra income or blow it on little things. Because because you spend a certain amount of money every month on guitar stuff. Sure. What if you sat on that money for two th two two months or three months and let it accumulate and then bought something good? Sure. And a lot of people just can't do that. Well, what if you went into debt for it? Well, you could do that too. A lot of people don't like doing. Put it that. on the credit card. Yeah, you pay can it off over well. five years. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a, a good idea too. Sure. But but so recently I decided, you know what? I think I might want to buy a car. Okay. And I started setting aside money mm -hmm. to buy a car. And I've sold a couple things and this and that. Okay. And now that money's sort of starting to burn a hole in my ah, pocket. Ah, yeah. And, but I don't have enough to buy the car that I want. So what am I doing? I'm looking for the cheapest version of that car I can find, which is a total mistake. I should you sit should on get, it for a couple yeah. more months and then get the car that I want. Are you talking maybe kind of like that Johnny Cash song about uh -huh. building it? It's a 51, 50, yeah. Yeah, yeah. uh-huh. Yeah. What kind of car do you want? Psycho Billy. I'm not telling anyone. Oh, okay. You're I just gonna it. drive yeah, up with it yeah, one day? Be, Is it a Corvette? You'll be like, you'll be like, it's a Corvette. Chris Listen, he's like, already got a deuce and a quarter. So how are you gonna top that, that yeah, one? You, uh, you Chris, Chris will be like, you really can't hey, uh, you, you want you want to go out for sandwiches? My Corvette's right outside. Yeah. It yeah. is. My Corolla's right outside. <laughs> no, really. How are you gonna t how are you gonna top the deuce and a quarter? I don't know. It's pretty rad. You can't. Well, just because I need a new car doesn't mean it needs to it needs to be the coolest. Well, you're building it up right happened. here. No, I'm just saying that I need to save some money to buy so a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And, is it uh, a Subaru Outback? No. Okay, well. Is I, it an El Camino? Ooh. No. Ooh, a cool. Subaru Brat. Ooh. Yeah, I haven't seen a brat like 1978 on the road in Subaru forever. Brat. Yeah, hey, I should so just buy a new Subaru and cut the roof off it. There you go. <laughs> you know, you could take it to Ass Monkey; a they'll ute. do it for you. Yeah. Hey, so uh, one question: um, Do you have enough Jazzmaster parts to do that? Yes. Oh, you do? Yeah. Cool. That's why it got painted. Ah, because you're saving up for a car. Chris's yes. new ride. That's exactly right. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So look for a Jazzmaster to be on sale soon. Yeah. And Coming at Chris you. is going to get a Ford Taurus. No. A Ford Fiesta with a sticker <laughs> no. that says, I'd rather push no. a Ford than drive am, a Chevy. No, I am. That's the one company that I am not down with anymore is Ford. The oh, yeah? Taurus had that one that one car that like threw itself in reverse and flew out of the driveway or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Dawn's mother crashed into the neighbor's that. living room. Yeah, oh, I don't wow. know either. Yeah. yeah, Dawn's mother was probably drunk off her ass. My parents no, I don't a, think she was. had a 90, like, two Ford Taurus, and it was... Was it in beige, the, one, the least, no, the lowest respect maroon. car color everywhere? Oh, yeah, okay, was, yeah. Yeah, not, not much of a car. Well, so, I think that was a great live stream. Are there any other questions that we should get to before we wrap it up? I don't know, I quit paying attention. Well, if you if your question oh, didn't you get go. if your comment didn't get mentioned or your question didn't get asked, it's because Ooh, a 76 Mrs. Ford Pinto. Oh. It's not a 76 no. Ford Pinto. Go for the duster if you're going to go for that it's a, similar it's body it's style. A, it's a 72 duster. Ford Fairlane station wagon. 88 blue you go. With a black vinyl top, three speed on the tree, and an FM radio. I forgot about you go. The you goes. Um, my brother had a friend whose parents had a Yugo, and it was like two years old. And it was already the biggest pile of crap I'd ever sat in. Yikes. It was just awful. All right, so Chris, uh, what are your thoughts on Great Guitar Build Off, everybody else in the contest besides us? What, sum it up into a few sentences. Uh, um, they, should, they should get on board and have some fun with it and, and, uh, and talk about it. And, and if, if, if they don't do any of that stuff, they're not going to get anything out of it. I agree. I'm with Chris 100%. If you're in the guitar build-off and you're not trash-talking, or if you haven't even opened the fucking box yet. Or even just showing stuff that you're doing. Or, doing or something, about it. having fun with it. And, and, and yeah. it's it, you can send me an email if you don't know if I want to trash-talk, because I'll, I'll play, you know, but let's keep it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so a couple comments. So yes. Ivan again sent some more metric money. but he's, Ivan the he, Gint? Yeah, so he Who's said... Ivan the Gint? Again. Oh, Okay, that makes sense. Be I'm not bitching about this, but it's not metric beer money. It's metric money for No, beer. it's metric beer money. It's not metric beer. To, We're not buying Canadian beer. You want me to tell you beer. how Bob and Doug did the metric conversion on the record? We're not buying Canadian beer. Okay, fine. I won't tell you. Right? Thank Joseph you, Ivan. Caswell. I know what you're doing. Joe Caswell says, Joe! Uh, Chris, get a RHD car too. No. I think that's what Joe right, has. Right-hand drive. Right-hand yeah, drive. Yeah. yeah. No. Come on, dude. I'll, I'm going to convert the one that I get to right hand drive. Nice. I'm going to convert it to center drive. I'm going to get rid of like, like right like, down the yeah. middle. Like tap. What, what's Big that guy? Was it, lower wasn't the, out of wasn't the, the Corvette so and Corvette Summer a right hand drive? Uh, I believe they did convert yeah, I know. that car. Put that yeah. steering wheel on the right side. <laughs> so did you go was... for a ride with Joe in his car? No. We it's didn't so go weird because you're like, oh, yeah, I'm on the wrong yeah. side. I sat in it and I sat in the, in the driver's side. Drive yeah. a seat. Do, and it was, do, do, it was, do, it was do, odd. So, so would it be kind of like high tower and police academy? Not like unlike you just rip out the front and you just sit in the middle mm -hmm. and yep. you know, yeah. whatever side you want. That's really, that's that's the natural position that the steering wheel yeah. should be in is right down the middle. All right, so you and I are 100% on board with what everybody else should be doing in the great guitar build off. Yeah. What are your thoughts on cheap guitars? Ready, go. Uh, cheap guitars can be fun, but you have to, you have to eventually move on from from that I'm gonna especially say if yeah, you're, buy if once you're, cry once yeah yeah, yeah especially if, if you you're moved out of your mom's them. basement no no I'm teasing no mm. it's th that's the other shade. that's the other funny thing and this is a whole other conversation but it's the I'll never be able to afford one you're right you won't be able to afford Not one with that, with that attitude but I'll bet you you spend a lot of money on a lot of other on your metric shit. beer well, and yeah. Ten dollar a beer, yeah. beer. I'll never be able to afford a twelve hundred dollar guitar, so I'll just keep buying these three hundred dollar ones. Yeah. Well, after four three hundred dollar ones, you <laughs> have twelve hundred dollars. Uh, um, here's the other thing, guys. If you're starting to build guitars to save money, don't do that. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. All right. And modding guitars too. If you think that you're gonna get, if you think you're gonna get a, a Fender Custom Shop uh, level 
guitar by modding a Squire Affinity to the nth degree. You can have a lot of fun doing that. You can have a lot of fun, and yeah. you can learn a lot of stuff, and that's that's all valuable too. Yeah. But that Squire Affinity will be worth exactly what you paid for it, it's no matter how many parts you put into it. Yeah. And so, now I'm just starting to preach. That's okay. Guys, thanks for watching. This is Matt at Texas Toast. This is always fun to hang out with you guys on Sunday. I love doing it. Chris, I think, has a good time. I know Mrs. Toast has all kinds of laughs. She gets so, here at like 2, and she's like, I can't wait to do the thing. Only she does it more like this. I can't wait to do the thing. Because I'm a little teapot. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever stout. it is. Yeah. Okay. So I always have a good time, and I drag people who I know along with me to, to do it with me because I think it's fun. Um, look for more Great Guitar Build-Off videos coming at you very soon. If you don't follow us on Instagram or Facebook, why aren't you doing that? Uh, we've got lots of pictures, except for today's is not a picture of the Great Guitar Build-Off, but it is gold for the honeys. Oh, did you post a picture of that one? I told you I did, yeah. Mm. yeah. So anyway, um, thanks for watching, y'all. We'll see you next Sunday. We've got more videos coming your way and lots of surprises before then, too. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Who's going to push the X on the I'll thing? push it. All right. Not that. Not that X. Thanks. Thank you, everybody, for, for joining us. I'm not sure who's, who's still watching.